Hey guys, so this first clip is me showing you guys the wig after first washing and conditioning and the parting straight out of the box. Um, really, really thin parting. Really, really thin. So the next clip is after I tweezed the part. I didn't show me tweezing it, but I did tweeze the part a bit and that's me showing how it looked. Next is just a small clip of me throwing a couple layers, layers in the very unconventional way with regular scissors. I know this is not really good way of cutting hair, but this is what I did and how it worked out for me. And I really don't have much to complain about. It came out okay. Um, of course, you would probably want to do this with actual hair cutting shears or a razor, but I have neither of those because I do not style hair. I just do my hair however I want to do it. So this is me just throwing a couple layers in and random sections and I actually am going to go in and layer it a little bit more after this clip which I did not show. So yeah, that's it. See, and today I'm doing a wig review on a new wig I received from DivasWigs.com. I actually received this wig a while ago and I'm finally getting around to doing a video on it. Um, in the beginning of this video, I did show you guys me um, applying the wig after I first received it. You guys can see how the part looked and all that type of stuff. And right now I'm going to right give you guys my thoughts after having the wig on and wearing it, wearing it and everything like that. So first and foremost, um, this wig is from DivasWigs.com. I will put all information down below in regards to where to purchase this wig from and all details on a specific wig that I have. Um, but this is a Jessica White Inspire wig. It is a curly unit and this is actually not the hair in its natural state. This is the hair after being lightly dampened and um, diffused and finger combed. So this is not the natural state. This is just basically the hair after being played with. Um, I have everything all open. The wig came in this wig box and inside the wig box came the wig. It came your, comes your invoice and um, a wig cap just like the RPG show wig caps so on the weird holes in it. The wig cap um, and it came with this weird comb. I haven't used this comb just because it seems like flimsy. <laughs> um, so it comes with that comb and the wig like I said. So the wig, like I said, it is a Jessica White Curly Inspire wig. Um, it's 24 inches and a number 1B if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I will put all information down below because I know I'm probably going mix, to mix, mix things up. So all information will be down below. But this is 24 inches. I know that for a fact. Um, it's a silky texture and um, it's 100% density. So, um, this, like I said, this is a silky unit. And even though it is silky, um, first off, it's amazingly, crazily soft. Um, it's very, very soft, but it does have a frizz factor to it, which makes it look a little bit more natural. It doesn't look too plasticky or um, shiny. It's a very, very natural um, luster. And it even looked this way even before I washed the unit. Um, it had a very natural luster to it. It wasn't too plastic looking or silky, I mean, or too shiny. Um, so it is silky. And um, it is 100% density, um, so it's pretty full. Um, but they do have... Um, higher density rates and lower density rates which is something i really really like about this um, company and their website is that you could totally customize this unit to be exactly how you want it you could have a low density to a very high density depending on how full or how thin you want your wigs the density i have is 100 percent which i think is the perfect density for anyone um so yeah i have 100 percent density um, this is a full lace wig. It is a glueless lace, glueless lace wig, but it is a full lace wig, meaning you can part it anywhere and you will be able to see scalp. The knots are not bleached on this unit, so you will have to bleach the knots. So I'm going to show you guys um, that you are able to part it anywhere and you will be able to see scalp, but you can see the little black grits because the knots are not bleached. So um, I would definitely recommend bleaching the knots. Um, I did not bleach the knots. What I actually did was just put a little bit of concealer in my part. Not too much, but just a little bit. Which brings me on to my next topic, which is the parting. The parting on this unit is very thin, so I did go ahead and tweeze it a little bit. Not too much, but I did tweeze it a little bit. And I added a little bit of concealer. Again, not too much, um, but I added a little bit of and, concealer. And um, I do have this unit at my hairline. I do have a little bit of hair left out on this side of my head, um, but I have no hair left out on this side. I have this unit completely at my hairline. And what I did was, because a little bit of lace cut, and what I did, because a little lace was showing, I actually used um, a black eyeliner pencil and a little bit of mascara and um, colored in the lace so that it would blend a little bit better um, because I didn't want to leave no hair out on this side. So I have no hair left out on this side and just um, my little edges right here on this side. Um, so this is technically behind the hairline, I guess you could say, um, but I have basically no leave out. Um, like I said, this unit is 24 inches. It's a true 24 inch. I did cut a little bit of layers in the front. I am going to go in the back and add a little little bit of layers to the back because um it is just all 124 inch length um but this is how 
long it is on me and I am five four and a half so this is how long it is on me hopefully as you can see this unit is really really long I've never had hair this long before um that construction is really well this unit has three wig combs along the perimeter and the drawstring and i've never had a wig cap fit so perfectly on my head um it fits even better than the rpg show wigs i absolutely love rpg show wigs but um sometimes when i wear the wig caps they do feel a little bit loose even after using the drawstring they don't really feel too secure on my head but this wig cap fits perfectly especially after using the drawstring it feels so secure um some things I noticed in another unit is that it is tangling a little bit, not too much. Um, it is a curly unit, so I'm expecting that it is tangling a little bit. And um, I did see a little bit of shedding. Nothing too crazy, but the unit is shedding a little bit. Um, so those are just two things I do not like or things I've noticed and I'm pretty sure someone's going to complain about is that there is a slight tangling issue and a slight shedding issue, but very, very slight. Um, again, this is curly, curly hair, so you should expect that type of stuff to happen with curlier textures. But overall, I love this unit. I think it's beautiful and I definitely, definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend the site. Uh, just like this is probably like the best curly hair I've ever seen. Um, I seen another YouTuber um, do a review on his hair and her hair was more defined and more sleek down. Um, I'm not really a fan of that look, um, but if you want really defined curls, she did mention what product she used. Um, I think it's Black Beauty, Beauty Butterfly. I'll put her channel down below where you can see this unit on her and um, you can see it well, like even more defined and just really, really like, you can see the curls, how beautiful they pop. Um, she made the curls pop really, really good, but I don't like that sleek look. It looks like a, I don't like a wet poodle. Um, I like big, wild and crazy looking. Um, so I will put her channel down below for, if you guys want to see another review on this unit. Um, but this is my thoughts on it and I think it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, so again, this wig is from divaswigs.com. I will put all information down below as well as a $50 um, off coupon code down below. Um, so yeah, $50 off, which is a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Please continue to subscribe, comment, rate, and thank you for watching. Bye guys.